Hello, my ladies. Today is Makeup Mondays. Welcome back. Today we're doing L'Oreal's makeup, and today's inspiration is the University of Miami in the orange and in the green. So she has micro braided in her eyebrows, which means she has tattooed eyebrows. Very faint, beautiful job. This is the best job I've seen so far. And I go in with a little bit of powder towards the front because I don't want to be too aggressive. And then I go in with my dip brow towards the end of the eyebrow also to lay them down. So as you could see, I'm doing in with my NV in color chocolate. And then I go in with my Pro Palettes in MAC. Today we're going to do a lot of MAC. Um, MAC concealer and I go and I shape out her eyebrows, which she already has, to the bottom and the top. So I apply a bit of eyeshadow base because I want the eyeshadow to be very popping because we're doing orange and I want also to last because we're doing a photo shoot for her bathing suit line. She has an amazing body. I wish I could borrow it. So that's what we're doing at this point. I'm laying it out. I'm spreading it out as much as possible. And then I go in with the Morphe palette in the 350-35 yeah, in like the browny orangey reddish and then I start etching out her eyes I go in from the from the back and then I go into the eye, eyebrow and into the nose so I fade it I go up and around as you can see I'm fading it I'm applying it and fading it applying and fading it and then I grab the same palettes and there's a bright orange and I just start tapping in the orange tap 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 the orange on I wanted to pile on the orange so you can see I went in a couple of times with that nice orange now this is a step where all the girls start feeling themselves they start seeing how the eyeshadow or my vision has come true so I continue fading and applying and then I put in some white eyeliner because this is a trick that I do I put on and the waterline the white eyeliner so that it gives me the color that I'm going to use next which is from ColourPop and just my luck look natural act natural actually is the color that I put on top of the eyeliner and the waterline because I want that green to really really pop and then I put it underneath the waterline as well so I fade in the lash line so it gives me that faded look so it looks like two tonish it's really bright in the waterline and then it goes a little darker underneath but it's the same color that I did so now I apply cold cream, ponds, or whatever you feel like it. And with a makeup wipe, I wipe, wipe off all the excess makeup that has fallen because eyeshadows do fall. That's why I do eyeshadows first. So with my makeup wipe remover, I'm just wiping off the excess and giving a little bit of the shape that I want because it's up. I want the eye to come up a little bit. So as you can see, I'm wiping off. In this step I am putting on the mascara I usually do mascara first because I want it to be nice and tacky to put on the lashes and so then I put on a pair of nice wispy lashes that she likes while I'm doing her lashes I'm thinking hmm do I want to put eyeliner I don't, I'm not sure I'm just gonna wait until the end to see if you know when the completed look if really this look needs eyeliner. So I'm just gonna wait. Let's wait. Lashes are on, and here goes my favorite. Black Opal in the color Amber is what I chose for her to do the contour of her face. So all the dark areas. So on her forehead, her cheeks, um, in her, in the side of her nose, and then with Kelly Harry Sands, I go in and I do the underneath her cheekbone, under her eye, the bridge of her nose. That's what I'm going to do the highlight in. So then I blend, 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 blend. As you can see, I blend everything together and it comes out the perfect skin tone for her. So just blend, blend, blend. And here we 
we go. Continue in blending. Blend, blend, blend. And that's going to make it look airbrush. And why I use a brush? It's just easier, I feel. It just gives me the product and it doesn't suck it all up. And I did say I was going to use all MAC products today. So with my MAC Pro palette and the concealer palette in light, I'm highlighting her under her eyes, the bridge of her nose, and her cupid bow. That's where I'm going in and just basically tapping it on and blending it out. Tapping it on and blending it out. Now I want this face to really shine. So with Iconic London, the Luminator in Glow, I'm using it and I'm putting it just in the right places with a nice little feathery brush on the tip of her nose, the cupid's bow, and on her cheekbones, higher cheekbones than normal. I'm just tapping it on, you know, slightly. And then with my Too Faced Peach Perfect, I'm going to set the whole face. That's what I'm doing with Peach Perfect today. With my MAC Mineralized Powder in Dark Tan, I'm going to contour her face. So with a nice angle brush, I'm going upward on her cheekbones, her jawline, around her forehead, and with a nice lovely pink-ish blush that really enhances this whole look, I'm giving her blushing her out and highlighting her. Since I used the highlighter, the gold one from Iconic London, the highlighter from MAC makes it more intensify, intensify that glow that I want. So here we go, we did put the eyeliner on. I wanted, it just needed it. I looked at her at the end and I said, oh, she needs it. I really liked it. With my MAC lipstick, the neon orange, I complete the look and it just brings everything together. It doesn't look cl clownish at all because she has a soft eye-ish with a nice, it's not completely, it's microchromatic of the oranges the green on the bottom it really really pops the orange on her lips so as you can see here she's ready to go she looks beautiful to model her bathing suits thank you so much everybody for watching today's videos and stay tuned for next week's and follow us on social medias thank you so much guys bye